What's up, family? Peace and blessings. Peace and blessings. Mark the Messenger. We're back in your video. This one is going to be about seven signs lust is a control in your life. And I want to start this off before I uh, start the video. I want to say that just because you are struggling with a sin or um, the fact that you're trying to fight it off, that's a good sign. So just because you made a mistake in life, and not just with lust, with any other uh, sin, like just understand that the fact that you're trying to fight it off, the fact that you're looking for solutions, that is a good sign. And I promise you, you guys, you keep, you know, following these, these signs I'm going to go over, you're going to eventually overcome it. Okay, so let's get it. Let's go. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel. All right, so seven signs, let's control your life. Number one is you have not submitted a slash surrender to God. Okay, so this is one thing about me back when I was struggling, struggling with my corn addiction is I was, I wasn't lukewarm, but I just didn't have the answers at the time. I didn't know the truth. Um, you know, I wasn't really on the narrow path. I didn't know about any, anything what that meant. But the minute I surrendered my life to God, I submitted to him, it seems like my spirit just elevated. My spirit elevated. I got more spiritual strength. And not only that, I understand the dangers what comes with opening those doors. Once I was able to understand that, it was a cakewalk because I know I, I know that if I'm free from I, God has broke the chains, right? I surrendered to him. Because that's what happens when guys tell you guys, when you surrender and submit yourself to God, all those uh, chains, the chains of lust, any sin, any sin, uh, anything that's keeping you in bondage, he breaks it off. And you think twice before you, you know, when, the, when the chains are breaking off, because when the chains are breaking off, you no longer have, you never longer have the urge or the temptations. Not to say that you're never going to be tempted again, but in that, in that presence, in that moment, you have no, no intentions to do it again. But understand that when he does break the chains and you go back into it, you know, there's a Bible verse that talks about, the seven unclean spirits that comes back into you and you you have the fear of god in you so once god breaks your chains you give him the praise you give him the thanks because it's only through him him putting the spirit on you to, to you know not be a slave to a certain sin the thing is a lot of people they don't want to surrender to god they don't want to submit their self therefore to god they want to be lukewarm want to be double-minded you know you want to do the things the opposite that you know god says to do and when you're doing that you can't expect god to work in your life if you're not if you're pushing him away when you're not hearkening to the voice of god when you're not hearkening to the holy spirit this is what happens so always understand that if you're struggling with like i said it's not just only with lust now this video is about lust obviously but for any other sin too as well if you're not surrendered to god if you're not have not submitted to god if you're kind of like being lukewarm or double-minded you know you could or like you know just uh in love with the flesh you know not trying to fight it off you know not trying to you know feed your spirit just keep on feeding your flesh you could under, you could definitely see that's going to control your life lust is going to start controlling your life so you're either going to go to god or lust is going to just destroy you man so always understand that uh, and uh, also the Bible says in James chapter 4 verse 7, I'll leave Bible verses throughout the video on the screen too. Uh, Submit therefore to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. I'm going to talk about that more too in a bit. Okay, number two is, oh yes, number two is you open doors that you know will tempt you. Yes, yes, yes. So for instance, right, I'm going to speak on this later in this video too as well. This is, the reason why I say that is because this is what a lot of people are doing, okay? So if you know going to a certain environment, or, or maybe like a television show, a Netflix, a movie show, um, social media, going to the club, going to the bar, you know, things of that nature, right? Or going to a concert. If you know that thing is going to open the door for, you know, certain environments, and let's say you're not that strong enough, then you shouldn't even go to, or you shouldn't even watch that TV show. You shouldn't even watch the movie or whatever the case may be, or social media, you know? Um, and, you know, there's even things like, uh, there's even sites that I've heard that people, you could have blockers, so it doesn't prevent you from going on certain websites. Uh, so, you know, you you know you have the sh the strength to not even go on it because there's a website blocker. I forgot what the what the website's called, but if you guys look it up, you could you could find it. But always understand that when you are you know, yeah, when you are opening doors that you know will tempt you, don't be don't be surprised when you fall into lust again. Don't be surprised when you see yourself you know falling short of the glory of God over and over again. So always understand that. That door that you have opened or that you, if that door that you know is going to open by going to a certain environment, you got to cut it off, man. And that's what all comes down to submitting to God, surrendering to God. You know, when you when you surrender to God, when you submit to God, you love him and you, you gain spiritual strength. You gain wisdom to know better, to do better. All right. So that's number two. And also the Bible verse says that. 
God won't tempt you. And if, and if you find a way, if you find yourself in temptation, God will provide a way out for it. But the thing is, when you do find a way in, in temptation, God provides a way out. Not not every man, you know, escapes a way out when God provides a way. Some people just go into their own death, you know, and that's what talks about that in James chapter one, verse 13 to 15. So always keep that in mind. God will provide a way out for you, but you got to follow his way. OK, number three is this used to happen to me, guys. This is deep, man. This used to happen to me, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad I overcame it, man. So you can't sleep at night unless you relapse. Yes. So let me let me know in the comments, guys, if you guys can relate to this. When well, you can't even sleep at night unless you unless you wash the corn, unless you unless you masturbate, unless you, you know what else you feed the demon, because that's what it, that's what you're doing, okay? And one thing you gotta understand about that when you can't go to sleep, because you know how when this happens, right? Not I don't know, not everyone can relate to this, but for those who can. Um, you don't want to do it. It's like your spirit is fighting it off. But the thing is, your spirit is weak. And your flesh, you know, the flesh, the strongholds, the unclean spirits, it, it just it's, it's controlling you to where you can't go to sleep. You can't get rest unless you feed that demon. This is how, this is the spiritual realm. So always understand that. Acknowledge that. When you can't get some sleep, when you can't get some rest, unless you're playing with yourself, and you know that your spirit's not trying to do it, the flesh is just getting the best of you. Now, one thing I noticed about in my life, when that was happening to me, I had no prayer life. Or if I did have a prayer life, it was weak. I would be feeding my flesh more than I would be feeding my spirit. Um, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't even know what stronghold. I didn't even know what strongholds were, uh, unclean spirits were. So I wasn't even trying to fight it off. So that's why it's so important to have wisdom, to have knowledge, and to have understanding. Okay, That's going to also preserve you too as well. But understand this, guys. When you can't sleep at night. Okay, when you can't sleep at night, let's you let's you do those things. Let's you you feed the demon. Those are those are unclean spirits. Those are demonic strongholds, and you must cast it down. Okay, this is a spiritual warfare. Once you understand you're in the spiritual warfare, you're not going to be easily falling into it because, like I said, you have wisdom to know what's right and wrong, what what opens doors, what closes doors, uh, what what feeds your spirit and what feeds uh, your flesh. So always keep that in mind. So that number four is. You give into the spirit of lust instead uh, instead of fleeing it. Okay, the Bible says over and over again to flee youthful lust and to flee fornication. You know, pretty much flee, fleeing lust. Okay, so instead of you fleeing it, okay, instead of you fleeing it, you give you get you give yourself over into it. So which comes in mind with number one is not submitting, not surrendering. So you continuously giving give, give yourself over to the spirit of lust. And I, I promise you guys, when you have the fear of God in you, not to say you're not going to make a mistake. But you're not going to be so quick to be given over to these sins, given over to lust, because you have the fear of God and you know that there's judgment that lies ahead. You know that, you know, you reap what you sow in life. He who sows his flesh shall reap corruption. OK, so you know that now, of course, God covers us uh, under our grace, but we can't sin willfully. OK, we can't continue to sin willfully. Because, you know, we know that in Hebrews chapter 10, verse 26. So and also God has equipped you with what you need to what you need to fight in the spiritual warfare, the armor of God. Like I said, guys, wisdom, knowledge and understanding. He has equipped you to to how to fight the spirit of lust. But you just, you know, you just keep on giving yourself over into it. OK, and you don't want and if you keep if you're not careful and you keep on giving yourself over to it, you could find yourself uh, giving over to reprobate in mind. You could find yourself just completely destroyed because of the demon. You know, when you entertain a demon, when you play with a demon, don't be don't be surprised over time, you know, when you completely forget about God, that demon completely destroys you, okay? You know, the Bible even says that lust brings forth death. That's in James chapter uh, 1, verse 13 to 15. Okay, so number uh, five is you don't filter out the things you watch on TV. Now, I put... You don't filter the things out watching TV, social media. Now that could be many other things too. It could even be video games. You know, whatever the, whatever the case may be, you have to filter out that, that. Which I was talking about with number two. If there's something that's tempting you, especially a lot of you brothers, you know, or sisters too, with social media, okay, uh, TikTok. I, I remember I don't really use TikTok no more, but every time I was on TikTok, there was literally every single time where. There's like, you know, why would you go open the app? You see like naked girls or not naked girls, but like half naked girls. Even Instagram is like, I don't even look at this stuff. Why is this being pushed out? Because that's that's the frequency that's being pushed out in the world. Satan knows exactly what he's doing. And, you know, on all these social media apps, it's like that's like constantly push at your face. Not even on social media. When you go outside, you look at billboards, you know, depending on where you live at. You know, if you live in a city, 
you see billboards of that just being all pushing your face, pushing your face. And you know, now some of those things we can't control, but even though we can't control that, what people put up in the billboard or, you know, but we can't control, you know, social media, we can't control um, the TV, the movies, uh, the video games or whatever the case may be. And like I said, guys, wisdom, wisdom, wisdom will let you know what you got to filter out. Remember the eyes, you know, there's even a, in the Bible, David, when he committed adultery with that lady, he, he with the eyes, he was entertaining it, you know, and you know, look what happened. Okay, so always guard your eyes. Even the Bible, there's a Bible verse that says that I will set no wicked thing upon my eyes. Now, of course, if you're you know on social media or if you're on, um, like I said, if you're going out and walking in the streets, you see billboards. That's something that you can't control, but. No matter what, you have the spirit of God in you. So that shouldn't even, you want to get to a certain level on your walk with Christ where those things don't even bother you no more, man. Like those things, you know, now, of course, not to say that that's right, you know, that they're, they're pushing it out there, but I'm saying that it shouldn't even bother you no more because you're just spiritually strong and that stuff doesn't phase you. You're on a new level in life. You're on a whole new spiritual level and that stuff doesn't even bother you. You want to get to that type of level. Okay. So, um, number six is you have, you have not made a commitment. Okay. Uh, there's a in the, in the Bible in the book of Job, in Job chapter 31 verse one, uh, it says that Job made a covenant that he will not look upon a young woman. Now it doesn't say that Job struggled with lust. Uh, it doesn't say that he struggled with that, but he did make a covenant with God so that he wouldn't look upon a maid. You know, which means like you know a young woman. So that could let us know that you know maybe not to say he did. You know, not to say he did or he didn't. But maybe you know whatever you're struggling with, guys, make a commitment with God. You know, make a commitment with God. God, you know, I, um, you know, I'm not going to do this because, you know, I love you. You know, remember, love is an action. Love is an action. Faith of that works is dead. Even even Christ says, if you love me, you keep my commandments. So that's so He wants you to love Him with action, not just to say, you know, out of your mouth that you love Him, not just to go to church on Sundays. It's actually action, keeping God's commandments. And you know, if you really love God, you're going to make a commitment. Yes, God, I may fall short, but I'm going to do the best I can because the Bible does say God knows your heart. Okay, so He knows if you're really trying or if you're just you know playing a facade. All right. So number seven is when you don't care about falling into lust. It's a sign, okay? So when you don't care, when you're falling over and over and over into lust, and you don't and you don't find yourself needing to repent, you don't find yourself like in shame or in guilt. And like I said, guys, in the beginning of this video, if you do find yourself in shame and guilt after after you know committing this uh, lust, that's a good thing. The reason why it's a good thing is because okay, now you know that uh, you know you know it's wrong because there's people who do that, guys, and they don't they feel happy after they do it, <laughs> you know. And that's just reality. But the fact that you feel sorrow because you know it's a sin before God, you know, that's a sign that, hey, man, you know, like I got to find solutions to overcome this. I'm not going to be a slave to this. I know that the chains will be broken. Okay. And, you know, Jesus could break the chains. That's why God sent forth the son to do that. So surrender, surrender your life to God and understand that, you know, feed your spirit, have a prayer life, start doing some fasting. You know, here and there, and you know, study to show yourself approved. Read the Bible, like I said, guys, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. So, these are the seven signs of lust of controlling your life. I hope and pray that after you watch this, it's going to instill some thought, plant a seed in your mind to do things to fight against the spirit of lust. I love you guys so much. If you guys made it this far and if this video helped you out, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and if you know, if you have any friends, or any brothers or sisters in Christ you want to share this video to, don't hesitate to share the video. Love you guys so much. I'm out. Peace.